Shawty thinks she got 30 days. <laughs> yeah. 30 days, weird. And she's so disrespectful. You see the shit she say? But she sat there and was all in my motherfucking face. She fake, y'all. Y'all niggas be supporting fake peep, uh, fake bitch. That shit crazy. So she faked her way through uh, a house to be in. That's crazy. Bitches out here frauding it like that. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. She can't move nobody in. This ain't no storyline, y'all. My heart was too big to see the manipulation, but now I see I was played. Y'all be talking about I be using motherfuckers and niggas use and, and this shit for clout and all this shit for like all this. Uh, I can't even talk right. Y'all saying all this shit like, uh, damn, Demi did this and this and that and that. But you know what? I actually see. I just saw somebody say saw the baby in the com like not that he in the comments, but I saw the name of the comments. And you know what? I'm starting to see why this nigga be so pissed off. I'm starting to see why this nigga is so mad. You sit there and listen to one side of a story, you don't you don't really know what's going on. I'm in my bed, I'm chilling. For me, cuddled up. Chilling, nigga. Y'all quit saying it's a storyline. It's no storyline. How you doing, Demi? I came in your room earlier, but it was so lit up in this mug. I wanted to say something. I'm going to say this. Love is blind, and it will take over your mind. If you think it's love and it's truly not, you need to elevate and find. That's to you, Demi, because love is blind. Love is some blind ass shit. I've been in that same shit in domestic violence, so I completely understand what you're going for. I'm just glad that you're able to see it. Yeah, I'm really yeah. seeing this shit. I should have been yeah. seeing it. I we'll only saw like first. different areas of it. I, I but I'm starting to really see the whole like. I'm starting to see a full picture though, and that shit is just that picture boring to be honest. I'm glad. I'm glad that you like seeing it. It's like sometimes people can tell you which way to go and which way to move and how to do it, but ain't nobody walking in your shoes. So it's good that you see it for yourself and you and you getting out of it before it get worse. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question though, Demi. Was it love that you had for her or was you feeling sorry for the things that she was going through that made you stay? Because sometimes we can feel sorry for people. It was love. And, and love. obviously as me loving someone and seeing what they're going through, I'm going to naturally feel sorry for them. So that that was a little, I'm going to be honest, that was a little stupid question. I don't, I think it is. They said it was a good question. To me, it's just like, well, if y'all know if I love, if I, or maybe, I'm sorry, maybe you didn't know if I loved her for real. So I don't know. I don't yeah, because, um, I don't know. It's like, uh, I stuck it out. You said something time. yesterday. You said something, I think it was yesterday or today you said, one of them days you said it that uh you said that you don't understand why you keep picking the the women that's that means you no good so i wanted to ask a question is you picking certain girls because of which you how you grew up like you know how sometimes we can grow up and have parents and watch our parents go through the dumb and shit and then in our life we don't realize no, like like for example i like I like uh, girls that, like, they know how to be bosses and, like, get to their bag. And not that I want their bag, but it's like I like to see independent women do their thing. And uh, I don't know. I guess, like, I'm trying to think what, like, attracted me to, like, her or whatever. But it was her talent, honey. 
It was her no. talent. Well, I'm not gonna say that's that's not what I'm talking about. What attracted me on the on the on the point of wanting to be in a relationship with her. Of course, at first I was wanting to help her work her career because I felt like she has something. Yeah, that is her talent. But I didn't get with her because of her talent whatsoever. No. Okay. I, I'm sorry that y'all two couldn't um work it out. You seem like you got a nice ass house. Um, are you gonna do like roommates, people that got jobs to help you out? To be honest, I don't. I don't want to live with nobody for real. I'm gonna be real. Uh, I mean, my rent. Wrong. My rent is three thousand, and probably after like the utilities and the other stuff I got going on to keep it afloat. It's probably like I think I did the math. Probably like forty two hundred altogether, and I know God gonna make sure I'm I'm gonna make through with that. So you don't month. think you you don't think you you don't think that you should have roommates? Just maybe no. one or two. It don't it don't have to be someone you in a relationship with. Just somebody who has a job who's looking for somewhere to move. Mm, I might I might consider Airbnb because I don't, know, I, don't want, I don't want no energy. I don't really want no like nobody's energy around me like long term right now. Like I honestly been like I and I'm not trying to victimize myself when I say this, but I've put myself in enough situations being around personalities and energy. I need a breather. I'm going to ask the dear Lord to, to continue to bless me with the opportunities of ways of making money so that I don't have to worry about how I'm going to come up with whatever each month. I'm going to be able to take care of everything each month. And that's why when people was coming up and asking me for my CA, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. I got this house. God bless me with this house. He going to make sure I get this house paid for every month. And I'm not going to sit here and have no bad company to help me pay for no rent. And I'm damn sure not going to have no strangers around me to flip on me even worse to pay my rent. You know what I'm saying? So what yeah. I want to do is I think I'm going to just sit back. For 30 Chill. days, I'm going to give myself 30 days. But 30 days is the 30 days that I'm going to get to myself. And I'm going to just figure out and like what God really trying to show me. Because he's been trying to talk to me probably since October. And I felt like I've I've uh, not avoided the conversation. But it's like I, I, I tried to feel like I can, I can, I don't know how to explain it. I just felt like do I, it all on your own. I felt like he knew what my intent was. So I just wanted him to just let me go about it but he keeps showing me like no i don't care how what you want to do or what you're trying to do it ain't finna happen okay so let me ask you one more question right so from the time y'all moved in why all of a sudden today y'all are at each other's throats that's the part that i you know what i'm saying happy. i got the place this what is happened the, from near to now this is the part i don't understand this is the biggest thing I've ever done for any woman, let alone any person in my entire existence. And I don't need my, my toes to be kissed or praised for me doing that. But I would, if I was in that predicament, and I know that I have four kids that I want to bring into the predicament, I'm going to try to stay on my P's and Q's so I don't mess up my predicament. You know what I'm so saying? He, yeah, so for feel me, like, feel like he asked I just, he when I talk about feeling unappreciated and now I got to sit here and watch you say all this and that and how, because you're upset or whatever the case may be. And so it makes you look crazy when you sit there and try to say, oh, I thought there was Demi Pussy on the screen or Demi Pussy Thick or Demi Cancel my Like, why are you talking like that when I was daddy this and daddy that? So. Can you tell me who's the real, real ass, fake ass? Like, what's real, what's fake? And it's to the point where I don't give a damn what's real or what's fake. I don't care no more. I'm tired of trying to figure out what's real or fake. It's done. You just like, I, I, I just, I just want to be, I just want to be clear. You know what's crazy? How I'm feeling after I clear this bad energy, I want to go get baptized and I want to go get saved. And I want to go give my, my life to God, to be honest. Yeah, you're wrong because that, I felt like he's he saved me throughout this whole duration. And he continues to save me, even if he don't respect what I'm doing. And I just feel like 
I'm tired of having to even come to him about the same problem. And I think he's tired of it too. And it's going to get to a point where he's not going to save me. Actually, I take that back. God always saves us. But he's just going to make me learn the hard way, the hardest way. So I got to... I got to really get it together. And like I said, I don't know why it took me to physically feel pain from her to like get a wake up call. Cause why did it have to take that? It's been so many signs for me to walk away. I said, I'm gonna walk away. And then I guess that's the part where you asked me, did you feel bad? A part of me did feel bad. And I wanted this to me and her together to say, look what we got. I wanted it to be together, a teamwork. Thing. Like it wasn't like, yeah, bitch, this house in my name. I got this shit with my bank account. We always in competition about whose money it has is more. Who gives a fuck? Let's make more money together. Fuck what we got. Let's go get some more. You know what I'm saying? So I just I think about the things that we battle about and I think about the things that I want to battle about. And we don't want to battle the same things. And and if the, in a relationship, if we don't have the same type of things that we want to battle for or want, it's not going to work. It don't matter. Yeah, because you know, you know, when she moves out, she's going to start all over again. And I feel like you, you, are, you are absolutely right. She's not showing her appreciation towards you. And you want to help her. And you don't want to just help her. You, you're trying to build something with her, but she's not trying to build or appreciate and i just want to clear this i want to clear this with the whole cancel ticket thing she said that i canceled her ticket because i thought she was gonna fuck polygod that's absolutely wrong this is exactly what happened we was at crackle barrel saturday and um uh she said let's go out to eat or something she said let's go out to eat so we ended up at crackle barrel right and then um i told her that we've master wanted to meet up with us to talk and she said okay so then Weave Master came and picked us up. But before she actually came and picked us up, she said, hey, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. She said, I'm leaving tomorrow. I said, okay. And I said, you know what? Maybe it's for the better. And I said, but you know this time. I swear to God, word for word, this is what I said. I said, but you know this time if when you leave, it ain't no more like trying no more. Like I feel like we both tried. I'm tired. You got to be tired, too. So and then she just kind of shook her head like, yeah. And then she walked away. I didn't know when she walked away, she started crying. She told me this later. She started crying because she wasn't really wanting me to say that. She wanted me to say, no, I don't want you to go. But by the time the Weave Master, Miss Weave Master came and talked to us, she explained where both me and her was at fault. You know what I'm saying? Like when we get into it. While we're on live, she feels like I shouldn't let people come up and disrespect her. And I get that. But I just feel like she's disrespected me so much. I feel like this is my only time that I feel like I can get. It's not I'm not even a person to seek revenge, but it's like I want you to feel how I feel when you when you disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? But that still don't make it OK, because what relationship don't last if you can't ever be because there for each other? Make it right. Right, so that's why I and when she, when we when we asked me when we we've master said that to me, I actually didn't like oh I didn't argue it down I didn't say what this is and I even admitted to her what my worries was I said I don't feel comfortable having somebody's kids in my home and they have issues within themselves and I don't want to be in the middle of that, you know what I'm saying like it bothers me and I just said I want a solution for what we can do to make Sada Baby feel at peace. Because I care. Even though this nigga threatened me and he threatens me all the fucking time, I still give a fuck about him having being able to capability to see his kids or talk to them or whatever the fuck it is, if that's what it is. I don't know, and I'll never know the truth between the two. And the point is, I don't want to know no more. I don't care. But I just felt like if I was a dad and I had kids and I lost my daughter and I ain't seen my kids in a long time. I would want to see my kids. So if I have to see my kids on live in a dysfunctional ass house, I'm going to be pissed the fuck off too. So I talked to 21. Even yesterday I woke up and it was on my mind. I said, it, she's like, yeah, you, that's your baby daddy. That's your baby daddy. And I'm like, what? No, it's not. And that's just the childish shit that I have to deal with. But meanwhile, I'm giving a fuck about everybody else but me. But me, 
I'm giving the fuck about the kids. I'm giving the fuck about Sada baby. I'm giving the fuck about her. I'm giving the fuck about all this stuff. But when is when does my feelings fucking matter? Wow. I should I said at this point, I might as well go have a fucking baby because I want one so bad. I literally so might as well go have a fucking baby. I can go get a well, I can go get a surrogate. Go do the whatever the fuck I got to do to get my eggs out and do that shit. If I can afford three thousand dollar rent, I can afford a bitch to have my baby. Period. If I'm gonna go through all this shit, yeah, for real. I feel like I'm a. I feel like I'm a parent, and without being a parent, I want to actually be a parent. When you gotta, if you want a parent, you want to be a, you want to raise a kid by yourself, or do you want to raise it with somebody? Well, I'm. I don't. I. I can't raise it with the person I'm with. That's for sure. And I be sitting up there saying like, oh, I want you to have my baby and all this shit. Girl, you drunk. You're going to you gonna, you gonna fuck my baby up drinking that alcohol and sneaking it. No, I don't want you to have my baby. I have to stop realizing what I was manifesting. No, I don't want you to have my baby. I feel you, Demi. I think My that... feelings is extremely hurt, though, honestly. Like, I, I'm, say, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm I've, going in the right direction. When this you is say the most expensive to to God. mistake I ever paid for. And I don't want and I'm going to pay it. And I'm paying it off tonight. You heard me, Demi? Demi? Huh? Uh, you heard what I said? No, I didn't. I blacked out. I'm sorry. I said, the first thing you realizing that is you need God. When you get that, and you get baptized, everything else gonna fall in place. I mean, that's to me, that's the biggest, most important thing is that you want to give your life to God, and that's better than anything. But everything else will fall exactly where you want them to lay. You just gotta pray about it, and, and when you pray about it, God said, "Ask and He shall He shall He shall give." So if you pray about it, and you say you manifest about it, and you say you want a baby, pray about it. God will give you what you want. I believe in it. I stand by it. It's been many days that I'd have prayed about things and, and God gave it to me. So, you know, one door closed, another one open. So I just feel like you're doing the right thing when you say you want to give your life to Christ. That's the first step of doing it is giving your life to Christ and going by his word and staying on his word and doing what you need to do for yourself. And always put you first. first. When you start putting you first and loving you first, everybody else comes secondary. You be all right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just I... say, just keep doing what you got to do for yourself. Nobody don't need to tell you nothing because I feel like, Demi, to be honest, you already know what you need to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not a stupid woman. You know exactly what you want, where you're going, what you're doing. You, you may make some mistakes just like anybody else make. But you know exactly what you want. And that's to me, is, don't nobody got to tell you shit because you already know what you need to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As far as your love life, as far as your housing, as far as what your future look like for yourself, you already know where, which way you're going. Now, she, on the other hand, she don't really know which way she's going because she don't really talk about which way she's really going. But to hear you talk about it, you have more of an A, plan, a B plan, a C plan, and a fucking D plan. She ain't even got that. You know what I mean? So just keep doing what you gotta do, Demi. You know? And all relationships ain't gonna be what they wanna be. It's always gonna be some hiccups, some heartbreaks. That's part of life. I wouldn't be mad about it. I mean you, when you you love somebody, all right, it didn't work out, move on. Next. You know? Mm-hmm. But you already right. you know what you need to do, then you don't need nobody on this app to tell you a damn thing. Mm -hmm. You know exactly where you're going in life. You know more than what she know. I tell you that much. Because you can't even ask her which way she going, because she ain't gonna give you a straight answer which way she going. So you know, it's, it's it happens to everybody. We all get caught up with people that sometimes ain't right for us. In our minds, we may tell ourselves it's right for us. But really, it ain't really right for us. Even when it's fucked up and sound fucked up in our mind, we still tell ourselves we right. This is right for us, and it's really not right for us. You know what I mean? 
And then sometimes we got to go through some. Sometimes we just got to sit back and analyze our relationship. And then you got to analyze yourself. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years, Demi? Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to think about that, though. Thank you. I appreciate you. Bye. Then it get Dr. Phil from up there. God damn, that bitch. That motherfucker talk too much. That's real mad, Dr. Phil. Boy, got time for all that shit, man. We trying to figure out what's going on and why this goof ass bitch acting crazy towards you, man. It's simple as that. Damn, Dr. Phil, how relationship ain't even fit? Hi, Demi. Hey. I just gotta say this one thing. Anybody that can go over a year without seeing their kids is heartless, baby. That's all I got to say. Why every time y'all come up here, nobody can not hear y'all? Y'all sound, sound like y'all static. -y. You see what I'm, how I'm doing. So I got a question. Do you know the difference between life and love? Mm -hmm. Because you love her. Because you're willing to compromise, you're willing to go the extra mile to show her that you love her because love is an action word. Do you not understand that she just likes you? Because if she loves you enough, she will stop all the negative and the toxic things she has going on in her life. <laughs> Hi Demi, how you doing? Demi, I just, just hope and pray that you get up in the morning and go handle your business because you already initiated the process of getting her gone and if you wait and give her 30 days every day of the next 30 days is going to be hell for you in the house you need to go get a stairway order and get her out because at the end of the day she going to mess your house up and she going to mess up everything that you work hard for what and I just hope you follow through with it. You don't need her. You don't need her destroying your stuff. She gonna drink every day until it gets on your nerves. She gonna push you to a point, Demi. She gonna turn you into somebody that you're not. And you don't need that. You working towards something to better yourself. She don't care about her life or what's going on in her life or nobody else in her life. She down in your basement, banging on your walls, yelling. I don't even know if your neighbors can hear how close your neighbors are, but come on, that's that's ghetto. That's hood rat shit. You don't need that. 